So in this video, we are going to create the sun. But before we do that, let me just maybe move my, uh, let me just move my trees to somewhere here and maybe I'll make them just a bit smaller. So let me just take a quick look at the original. So of course we got these rays right here. And as you can see, they are not like even, even triangles. They are actually like kind of like, um, well, they kind of look like flames, don't you think? I think they kind of look like flames. Which is, which is actually a good thing because it's the sun and the sun is hot and flames are also hot. Yeah, and, and that was, that was really clever of me. Okay, so let's start with, with creating, uh, with creating an ellipse and then creating these rays. So I'm gonna go to my, to my, uh, to my proper, proper artboard. I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the proper layer, on this layer right here. Let me just zoom in a bit. Okay. So again, let's let me just grab the ellipse tool and I'm going to create an ellipse that's going to be something like that. And I'm going to make it uh, I'm going to give it some uh, white fill and black stroke. OK, so to create the rays, all we really need to do is to first create a uh, rect, uh, create a uh, triangle. And I'm going to do it with the polygon tool. So I'm going to select it right here. And if your polygon looks something like this, and it probably will, uh, then just simply press the down arrow key to decrease the number of corners to eventually make it look like it's a, like it's a triangle. So I'm simply going to uh, press the shift key to constrain the proportions and I'm going to make it look something like this. Okay. I'm going to bring it so it aligns nicely with my, uh, with my ellipse, maybe just a bit lower to somewhere here. Of course, so we are going to align everything properly uh, later in the process. So I'm simply going to grab this guy and again, I'm going to go to the uh, to the effect menu, warp. But in, the, in this case, well, actually, we could simply go with the arc tool because in here you can see that we got this style uh, drop down menu uh, right here. And I, I think I'm going to go with the flag for this one. And I think you can already see what is going to happen. Of course, we, we got to we got to use the vertical uh, vertical um, transformation. And if I move this band option right here, you can see that I am making making uh, this uh, well, this flame to be bent even more or a bit less if I if I decrease this band value right here, I think I'm going to go with something around 25%. That should I think that should do it. And since it's still a live effect, uh, again, as we uh, as we already know, we could go to the appearance panel and simply click this uh, this link right here that says warp flag and change the values. Should we should we change our mind? So I'm gonna select this guy since I don't want to since I don't want to um, I don't want it to be a live effect anymore. Again, I'm gonna go to the object menu and I'm gonna go with the expand appearance because right now what I want to do is I think I want to make it just a bit smaller. So I'm holding down the Alt key to make it smaller in relation to the center point, just like that. This should be fine. And I think I'm going to select all these guys and in the align panel, I'm going to make sure that I'm aligning to aligning these guys to the selection. And I'm simply going to go with this guy, which says horizontal align center to make sure that they align uh, perfect, perfectly to the center. In order to create the rest of the of the rays, what we really need to do is to simply grab this guy, press the R key on the keyboard and simply find the center, the center point of our uh, of our ellipse. And by the way, if you can't see this tooltip that says center right here, you probably have your smart guides off. And to turn them on, all you really need to do is to go to the view menu and check if you got uh, the smart guides option turned on right here. Of course, you could use the control U function, uh, well, shortcut if you want. So I'm simply going to find the center again, somewhere here, and I'm going to hold down the old, uh, the old key because I want my, uh, my rotation to, to begin uh, or to happen in relation to the, to this center point. So I'm simply going to holding down the old key, click on the center point right here. And if you've seen my other videos, you probably know what's going to happen. We are going to enter uh, 360 because that's the full circle. And we're going to divide it by the, by the amount of the rays we want to actually, we want to eventually have, ultimately have. So I think I'm going to go with 16. Let me just see what it looks like. I think it should be fine. So as you can see, Illustrator counted the right angle value for me. And of course, what we have to do is we have to click copy, not okay. So I'm going to click copy just like that. And 
What's really left to do is to simply hit the Ctrl D on our keyboard, just like that, to make the rays look something like this. And of course, if you think that these rays are a bit closer to, to each other, so let me just undo that, undo all these steps, what we could do is we could simply initialize the rotate tool again, find the center spot, and maybe this time I'm gonna go 360 by maybe this time 12. Uh, let's hit copy, and then I'm gonna hit Ctrl D to make it look something like that. But of course, usually the sun has a yellow color, so I'm going to I'm going to select all these guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the of the stroke. And for the fill, I'm gonna go with this uh, with this blue, yellow color just like that. Okay, before we wrap things up in this video, uh, I wanted to share one uh, one really powerful production technique with you. When you are designing uh, things uh, like like the sun, for instance, I mean, when you have some elements that are being rotated and uh, and copied at the same time, and if you if you want to manipulate their position in relation to some object that you are rotating them. So what what you really uh, need to do, well, what you could do is to simply maybe let me just grab all these guys, and then I'm gonna deselect this uh, um, this uh, center ellipse. So let's say that I want to bring all these guys closer together because I I really do think that they they are too uh, too far far away from from the center of the sun. So what we could do is again we could go um, to the scale tool. And remember that we that we use this technique um, uh, with the with the top part of the stem, and I'm going to alt click on the center uh, center uh, spot um, of this ellipse of this um, well sun middle part of the sun, and I'm simply going to alt click on it. And as you can see, if we scale it down, we are actually bringing these elements together, and it works with the, with every element that you are actually uh, well using or, or targeting. Simply when you when you scale it down, you are going to bring them closer together and we are bringing them closer together in relation to the center point. Remember, we alt click on it. And if I make it something like 95, you can actually see that I am bringing them closer together and still I am preserving the gap between the, the sun and the rays. And I think that something around 9, maybe 85, maybe 88, 88% 88 should do. Just like that. So we selected all the rays and then we simply mm, uh, use the scale tool to, to bring them closer together in relation to the center of the uh, center of the uh, of this ellipse of this middle part of the sun so there you go in this video you learned how to create this nicely looking of uh, like flame uh, flame effect flame rays let's call them, let's call them flame rays so we used uh, the uh, the flag option from from our warp uh, warp uh, options from our warp functions we rotated them uh, all, all the flames and cloned them at the same time and then we actually brought them closer together to make them uh, to make them appear like they are closer to the sun but still we preserve this gap uh, this gap right here so in the next video we are going to continue with this uh, with this uh, with the sky theme let's call it like that with the sky theme and we are actually going to create the clouds so that's something that you're interested in keep watching